Graphical's new IPU M2000 enables large-scale data center deployments of our built-for-AI technology. Users can run vast workloads across up to 64,000 IPUs, acting together as one giant parallel processor. That's 16 exaflops of computing power, petabytes of memory, and supporting models with many billions of parameters. With Poplar, computing on this scale is as simple as using a single machine. Beginning with your model, Poplar works with high-level frameworks, including PyTorch, TensorFlow, Onyx, and Paddle Paddle. Whatever your preferred development framework, our graph compiler builds a compute graph to take full advantage of all the technologies we have outlined, including IPU compute, exchange memory, and IPU fabric. Finally, our graph engine builds the runtime to execute your workload across as many IPU machines or pods as you have available. Poplar takes care of all the scaling and all the optimization, allowing you to focus on the model and the results. As well as running big models across large IPU configurations, there may also be times when you want to allow multiple users to run different workloads. So we've made it possible to dynamically share your AI compute between users with GraphCore's virtual IPU software. Perhaps you want to run both training and inference. You can have tens, hundreds, even thousands of IPUs working together on model training. At the same time, you can allocate your remaining M2000 machines to run inference, supporting thousands of users in parallel. These configurations can be changed easily. Because GraphCore technology typically goes into mixed-use data centers, we support industry-standard ecosystem tools for hardware management, including Redfish DTMF, containerization with Docker, and orchestration with Slurm and Kubernetes. And of course, we're adding support for more platforms all the time. For advanced image classification, our Poplar and IPU supports depth-wise separable convolutions and group structures, delivering much higher performance. And a word on sparsity. Lots of research is currently focused on finding ways to take advantage of the sparsity that is inherent in AI models, not just for inference, but also for training. For inference, you can prune the model to reduce compute. The challenge is having a compute platform that can efficiently handle sparse data structures during training. The combination of the Mark II IPU and Exchange Memory System with our extensive library support in Poplar allows the full range of sparsity to be supported in both training and inference. We've also just open sourced our Poplar graph libraries known as Poplibs. This allows the AI developer community to modify its existing functions and to contribute new graph library elements. These are just a few of the ways that Poplar, together with IPU systems, are helping innovators make new breakthroughs.